Hey everyone, this is Norris Tony. I'm back to y'all again with another video, y'all. I just had this, you know, I just, I'm just in the mood to do another video, but um, this one is gonna be a roast, a little bit of a roast. But um, before I get into it, as y'all can see, I have braces in my mouth. So I'm supposed to be getting my braces taken off soon. So whenever I um, get my braces taken out, I will make another video and I'll let y'all know, you know, about it. But I've been having these braces for over two years. So they're going to get taken out soon. So when they get taken out, I'll let y'all know. But um, yeah, I want to talk about Kevin Hunter. Sharina Hudson and a little bit about Wendy Williams. But um if y'all check me out on Storm and Raw Storm Monroe, his channel, you know, like earlier this week, I think like three, two, three days ago, he had did a video talking about Kevin Hunter and um well basically Kevin Hunter's Instagram live that he did, like an hour live that he did on Instagram on Instagram speaking his piece about his situation with Wendy Williams, you know, Kevin Hunter Jr. and his relationship with Sharina Hudson, basically about the divorce and everything. Like he spoke his piece about the whole situation with him and Wendy Williams, you know, and Storm Monroe let me come on his channel and let me do a segment. It was like, it's like a seven minute and 39 second segment. He let me do roasting basically Kevin Hunter and Sharina Hudson. But I feel like I left some things out, you know, and then I meant to say something, you know, about Wendy Williams. It ain't nothing bad, but I meant to say something about her too. But um, yeah, if y'all want to check out Storm Monroe's channel, then check him out. You know, he has over 2,000 or 200,000 subscribers, basically 200K subs. So go over there on his channel, show him some love, show him some support. He's very funny. He's very entertaining. He's a great digital and content creator. He is the bomb.com and y'all should really give him a chance. So I'm shouting him out, show him some love. He's probably one of my favorite YouTubers, you know, that I, so I enjoy going on his channel. So if you see me over there on his channel, just know that I'm showing him love and support and the respect that he deserves because he's he deserves a lot of respect. And I appreciate him for always letting me come on his platform to speak my mind about the celebrities that he be talking about. So go over there and show Storm Monroe some love. Show him some support. You won't you won't be disappointed and you won't regret anything. But I'm going to get into this Instagram live that Kevin Hunter did. Well, first of all, to me, he I think he called himself, like, to me, I felt like he contradicted himself a lot. He called himself apologizing somewhat to Wendy about all the trouble and stuff he didn't put her through, the pain and stuff he put her through while they was married. But at the same time, he kind of dissed her in the video, too. He kind of, you know, took shots at her. But I will get to that point. But Wendy Williams, I want to say Wells and Fargo. Her money, I think, is $7 million or more she has in that bank in a Wells and Fargo account. For some reason, they holding her money hostage. And she called them out about it, made a video, I think, on Instagram, calling them out about it, letting them know that she wants her money. Basically, she begging and pleading for them to let her have her money. And I feel like that woman worked hard for her money. She has. She deserves all of her money. Give that woman her money. Y'all don't have a right to hold no money, nobody's money hostage. Wells and Fargo. Give that woman her money, okay? Wendy Williams, let her decide what she going to do with the money. She wants her money. Give her her money now. Let her decide what she wants to do with it. 
It's not y'all's job to hold somebody's money hostage. The woman looked good. I mean, Wendy looked better. She looked good to me in that video. But she wants her money. I think she can manage her money. Her money. You know, she's a legendary. You know, she's legendary. She's a legend in the um, radio world, TV and radio world. You know, give that lady her flowers. Despite all her problems and everything she's been through, she is doing better. She looks better to me when I saw her in that video. You know, other YouTubers have talked about, you know, the situation. Mary TV, Mary Jane TV creation is one of um, the YouTubers that talked about that video and talked about, played the Kevin Hunter live on her video, I mean, on her channel, and other YouTubers have too. But she's a main supporter of mine, and I support her too. So give Mary Jane TV creation, give her, I'm going to give her a shout out. Show her some love and some support because she a queen in my book. Show her some love. She deserves some love. You won't regret it. Show her some support. You won't regret it. And Storm Monroe, to me, he the king of <laughs> YouTube. But, um... Getting back to Wendy Williams, like I was saying, just get a woman her money. Let her do what she want to do with it. That money, that woman work hard for her money. Let her have her money. Now to the meat and potatoes. Kevin Hunter, her ex-husband, he talked about he going to sue the company that um, hired Wendy Williams and the production staff for her talk show. You know, the Wendy Williams show that was behind her show. That company, I don't know the name of it, but if you go to check out some of the other YouTubers that talk about Kevin Kevin Hunter's live on Instagram he recently did, he says the name of the company in that video, and so do they. So Storm Monroe talked about his um live, you know, Mary, T Mary Jane TV creation, you know, Tabitha Speaks, Jamie That's Me. You know, Jay Lee's Corner, a lot of, um, you know, other YouTubers, great YouTubers, phenomenal YouTubers, they talked about that video and get, gave their opinion and their intake on the um, video. But yeah, he trying to sue that, that production company that um, produced Wendy Williams' show and hired her, her and her staff to do the Wendy Williams show. And I'm like, Kevin Hunter, you're not an employee of that company. You work for Wendy Williams. You did not work for that company. So you don't have a lawsuit. So you don't have no money to go after. You are what when you got when you got divorced from Wendy Williams, you got alimony. You got a set a settlement of ten million dollars, I believe. So Stop trying to go after more money. You are already getting more. I think you getting more money on the side or extra money from Wendy. So drop if you're trying to pursue a lawsuit, drop it because that company can destroy you and your credibility in the courtroom. You wasting a lawyer's time. You're gonna have to pay attorney fees. You wasting the court's time and you wasting your time because you're not gonna get nothing. You don't deserve nothing, and you don't deserve that. You didn't deserve that ten million dollars that you got out of Wendy from that alimony, from that from your divorce. You shouldn't have got anything. You low down dirty skate. You low you low down dirty dog. But um, yeah. So that lawsuit is a joke, just like him. And then he speaks about a le legacy. Like, what legacy? You don't have a legacy. And it's like, the only reason why people know about you, Kevin Hunter, or know your name, or know you at all, is because of Wendy Williams. Because Wendy was the star and is the star. And you was just the dude in the background. You will always be that dude in the background. Okay, you was her muscle. You was her protector. You wasn't a great husband, but when she needed protection, you, you, I give you that. You protected her. You had her back in that aspect, but she was a bad husband. But yeah, you, don't, like I said, the only reason why people know about you is because of Wendy. If it wasn't for Wendy Williams, if you, if you were not married to her, you wouldn't have been involved with her. 
and you would, like I said, if you wasn't with her, never been with her or anything like that, you would probably be a, a dusty, musty, crusty, ashy, funky, bum ass drug dealer somewhere on the street corner in New York City or wherever you come from. That's what you would probably be doing with your life. So be grateful to Wendy that she married you, that she even gave you the time of day. Because a lot of successful William or successful women probably would not have. So be thankful for that. And then you cheated on Wendy with, with Sharina Hudson, you know, for over a decade of your marriage. I'm just like, and this girl, she don't have no morals. She don't have no values. She don't have no respect for herself at all. And it's like, you and her don't have jobs, don't really have jobs right now, I don't believe. You don't have your own money. You're living, Sharina and you, Kevin, are both co not only codependent on each other, but y'all are codependent on Wendy's money, on that alimony money from the divorce. That's, that's your living. That's your only source of income. You have no other source of income, okay? So get that through your head. So basically, Wendy was your meal ticket. And you criticizing her and talking about, like, taking digs, taking shots at her in that video. So it's like, how you going to how you gonna disrespect your meal ticket like that? Because basically, she was your meal ticket. She was providing for you, your household, or giving you the lifestyle that you was comfortable with and Sharina Hudson. So I don't want to hear you disrespecting that lady and criticizing her. Shame on you. And then you want to talk about Sharina Hudson, you know, saving your son's life. That girl ain't no savior. She your cum dumpster. She your cum bucket. She just a chick that whenever you, whenever Wendy wasn't around and she was working, she was a chick that you just hooked up with, had basically an affair with. She, like, she's broke. She was broke. She didn't have nothing to bring to the table besides her box. That's the only thing she had to offer you, and you took it. So basically, you are the, you do live up to your, la your name because you are a hunter. You're the hunter that got captured by Sharina's box. And then... You talked about you went hard for your family, for your child, for Kevin Jr. and Wendy. You didn't go hard for them. You wasn't loyal to Wendy. You cheated on her, basically. You weren't loyal to her. The, you went hard for Sharina's box. That's what you went hard for. So basically, you can shut up with that. You can miss me with that bull crap. You know, and it's like, Sharina, girl, he can't even marry you. Like, how do you feel knowing that Kevin, if he was to try to marry you, your alimony money that you get from Wendy, your meal, basically your meal ticket, your only source of income will be out the window. You won't be able to get no money or he, he won't be able to get no money if he marries you. So it's like, you've been with this man for over a decade and he cannot marry you. So it's like, you wasted your time, your box, your body. You wasted all of that, your youth, most of your youth on this man. Who, and then you should bet on top of that, you were sharing him with his wife. So it's like, how do you feel? If you were smart, the money that you was getting from Kevin, you would have been investing in a business. You would have been investing in stocks and bonds. You would have been investing in money market accounts, anything. You would have you would have been able to stack your money, get your money up. So if things don't work out with you and Kevin, you will have a another source of income, but you didn't do that. So I will give you an award though for being a dumb, dumb mistress pop 
of the of of the decade. That's the award you're getting. Cause that's how dumb and stupid you are. And you know what? I got some notes here. Just give me a second, y'all. I'm trying to find them. Oh, Kevin says that he has, you know, he was thanking his supporters and he was talking about he got a lot of haters and stuff like that. First of all, Kevin, you don't have that many supporters. Okay, so stop it with that. And nobody is obsessed with you. You don't have too many haters. The people, the reason why people don't care for you or don't really like you is because of the way you treated Wendy. That's why people don't respect you. So it's not hate. People have a reason not to care for you. So don't get that confused. Okay? And you're not good enough. You're not worthy of anybody to be obsessed with you. So go somewhere with that. And then, what else? Oh, and then you talked about a book, a book deal that you have. Hmm. It took you over a decade to create a, a production company, a book production company, a sec, another resource of income. Well, that book, unless you spilling some juicy details, some real good tea, a lot of people not going to buy that book. You be lucky if that book sell at the dollar store because it's going to probably be worth a dollar just like you. And, yeah, just like you, basically. And then, let me see. I wrote some more notes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be done soon. But, oh, you talked about things that wasn't fair. You want to talk about things in your life that's not fair? I'm going to give you a couple of things that you did to Wendy that wasn't fair. While Wendy was working hard, working her tail off, putting, providing a lifestyle for you and for herself. You was eating, you was behind her back eating Sharina's spoiled rotten cookies. You was hitting that while Wendy was working. And then you gonna go against, you gonna go behind Wendy's back Basically, without her permission, you take her money and buy your side dish, or so I say, your side skank heifer chick, a house in the same neighborhood as your house and Wendy, or as your house in the same, in the same neighborhood as you and Wendy's house. Right down the street, you buy this girl a house in the same block. How dumb is that? You know, you bought your skank half a bimbo mistress a house with Wendy's money. How pathetic is that? So another thing you needed to do, you need to you needed to do besides waste the people time with that life was take your pit bull dog face behind back in that house and go to sleep. Good night. Have several seats, okay? Nobody cares about what you think is fair and not fair because them two things that I talked about you did to Wendy with Sharina Hudson, that wasn't fair. That wasn't fair at all. So basically, that's all I have to say about Kevin Hunter. I don't want to waste no more of my energy or my time on him. But yeah, y'all, that's all I have to say. I hope that you all like, comment, subscribe, share my video if you like or if you want. And thanks for tuning in. Have a good night. Peace.